awful cold out there for the last two weeks that I, I'm so glad it's finally. Oh, hey, everybody. It's a 9.30 a.m. Thursday, December 12, 2013. And I had a nice pre-Christmas dinner yesterday in town. Now, when I say I live in the uh, bedroom community known as Surrey, British Columbia, Canada, uh, which is in North America, um, in the Western Hemisphere on planet Earth, in the sunny, sunny solar system, in the Milky Way galaxy, in the universe that we all know and love. Now, if there's anything beyond that, I cannot prove scientific like to the satisfaction of experts in the field, so I shan't pursue that. Does that sound a bit OCD? And what about me changing from a Engl from a Southern American accent to a British accent? Is that a little weird? As they say in German, do you think I spinne? Do you think I'm verrückt? Do you think I'm wahnsinnig? You know, to get my sense of humor, you'd have to pretty much go of gone through everything I of gone through. For example, you must be an English speaker whose mother tongue is English. Two, you must have learned the German language. And three, you must have lived in Quebec or in Canada where we hear people from Quebec speak English like this, tabernacle. But you know, as many other highly intelligent individuals, I am a humanist. A fanatical religious humanist, but a humanist. And I love humanity, except for the violence. I ain't into violence. Okay, this is stream of consciousness. So where did this come from, folks? Don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. And of course, you're tempted to say, if somebody ever said that to you, you're tempted to say, I'll repeat it and then come back with the uh, zinger. Okay. Follow up the zinger. I should have said. And I'm saying of deliberately instead of have because it fascinates me. <laughs> hey, this is Stream of Consciousness Friday, folks. Guess what? I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. I don't like you already. Did you ever watch the A-Team? Murder, you fool. Now go get me some KFC. Now, uh, I can't do Murdoch. Uh, this is an impression of Murdoch, but it doesn't sound anything like him. I shall go back to the mental hospital now, and I refuse to fly, pilot, an airplane forever. Okay. I actually, I'm a comedian who actually laughs at his own comedy. So I find that funny. Okay, what else? Uh, nobody's sacrosanct. Nobody's beyond the pale of satire and criticism and uh, being poked fun at comedy. For example, like Richard Nixon. Can you imagine Billy Graham giving uh, a description of Richard Nixon? Think of Billy Graham. Richard Nixon is a modern day Pied Piper. <laughs> Again, folks, you'll only get my comedy if you understand, have all the cultural references of the baby boomer, Generazione. Now, my face is getting red. What does that mean? It could be either it's because of ultraviolet radiation, 
this is coming from the black light, or I've been sitting in the same place too long, and the uh, blood is rushed to head. Okay. Now I'm going to, you know, I'm zany and funny and wacky in my videos sometimes, a lot of time, most of the time, one of the above, none of the above. But when I make a comment, from now on, I'm gonna be dead serious. I shall wax serious. Not unlike Jerry Lewis, who was cutting up and funny and hilarious in his capacity as a comedian, but he would often wax serious and talk, enunciate, and otherwise pronounce quite intelligently on topical subjects of the day.